is what we call them now. They're not like squatting? a squatting? I don't know. Alright, anyway, it looks like they're good. Ices are squatting. Squatting on that down B. You gotta squat to give you that leg power to get that swish, baby, that dunk. Box jumps, baby. Okay, so oh. Frodo should definitely have this SDI at this point. So this is classically considered a really good Lucario matchup due to Aura. Yeah, I think this matchup is really fucking good for Lucario. Yeah. But, Frodo has been able to put it together. We'll see. Oh, whoa, 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 man. Whoa, man, who's driving the car? Bear's driving. <laughs> Good God. Get my man a license. Get from the bear. Ooh. Get this man a breathalyzer. Jeez. Yo! Oh, Custom. That was sick, that was sick, that was sick. Desync taunts. Useless tech. What up? Frodo not having any of that blizzard bullshit. He throws it that way? Yeah. It works out. Yeah, he, uh, no. that way if Kitten tried to jump over it, he could forward air him, and he couldn't save Nana. Yeah. He's blocking it off, man. Yeah, I just thought, like, Nana would make it back, so. Yeah. Definitely the right call, because Nana just died on him. The classic. So have Kitten generally been beating Frodo in these brackets? He's never lost to Frodo before, I think, unless he's playing like not ice climbers. Right. So yeah, it's been historically and currently super heavily in favor kid. So this would be an upset. Oh if Kitten were to lose. I honestly don't know. I don't think he's ever lost to ice climbers. So he gets Aura off, like, kicking this, but he's losing so much stage. Oh! I'm surprised he didn't get the tech chaser. Good SD. Oh my. Oh? Oh, um, Yeah, the, the SDI needs to definitely could be better on these. Yo! Out of him. Good stuff. So, I don't... These two generally don't play on stream, so I don't see it. I know, right? Yeah, I think that's that's why. That's probably why. Yeah. They never. Yeah, so I most I just know the number, well, how the sets go number wise, but I actually don't know if Frodo has ever tried it. Can actually SDI out of that properly. So like, not. I'm pretty sure the character can do it. I don't know if I've ever seen him do it. Oh, that's like that. That's real. One up. Yep. Your dodge is off. Yeah, I feel like some. So I think the general formula. Oh, he's missing all these jumps here. I think the general formula for SDI on the down throw down air is that if you're a fast car, you SDI out. If you're floaty, you SDI in. In? But, yes. Oh yeah, because that way you go. Behind. And then you double jump. Yeah. 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 yeah there's like some there's some characters that don't fall into that general rule. Like Falcon can go in, but like. Generally speaking, that's the rule. And then, like, once you're out, you want to buffer an option and just hope they don't get a read on you. I, I cannot believe how strong that down smash is. There's two of them, man. There's two of them. You only got hit with one. Did you hit with one? It was one. Oh my god. One and done. Sakurai was like, yo, we need to give him one good move. Yeah, because I don't know. Like, this character is... How's this character in casual play? Is it bad? I don't know. Seems like the bee move the bee move seem really bad in casual play. I imagine wow, this is every single what? one almost happened. I don't know man, because you they are you're not wave dashing in casual play. You're obviously not wobbling. They're probably just complicated as hell. You probably just use that yellow stick, dude. Oh! Oh wow. Yeah. Nice. So this game's been pretty close. I feel like it's been close though because Kit's been missing the spikes. Yeah. Like if you got these spikes, like Yeah, you gotta wow. you gotta you gotta do something, dude. Like try it. Honestly, try it. Most floaties do get out from it. What's up? He's been SDIing out every time though, so I Yeah, that's what I'm suggesting. I think he should go in. 
but I haven't seen it yet. We'll see, we'll see after this set. There's no coaching there. No coaching. No coaching. One of these people actually was removed from the venue for coaching. That was a kid. Wait, what happened? I have not heard that he story. He asked for coaching, and then I immediately DQ'd him. No, of course not. Of course not. I'm like, <laughs> wait, what the hell? I coached him. I'm like, what world are we living in right now? I coached him. So he's trying to be cheeky. God, if you got that, I would be sad yeah. for the kid. Drift back. Calls out the drift. That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. That's it. This is hard. 55 is... Oh. Oh my gosh, that's scary. That's scary. Yeah, hard reel back to make sure not doesn't die. Still though, folk definitely can do this. This is not. Yeah, this um, is definitely. Do it. I think you still do it. <laughs> right, turn back time. No time turner. All right, Zach. What's your favorite Animal Crossing character that appears on Smashville? Let me know. David Vargas. David Vargas. I punch kids. The IPK. The, the young, IPK villager. Young spiky ass yes. hair motherfucker. What about you? Uh, I like the giraffe. The giraffe's cool. The giraffe. I like cute. the owl. The owl's pretty good. Oh, the owl is fucking the good too. Yeah, owl's hot, dude. Fucking owl's hot. I don't know what animal it is, but I like the ones that like, like, <gasps> whenever someone oh, gets hit, they're like, oh yeah, the spooked ass motherfucker. Yeah, they're like, like they don't like violence, but they're here at the fight. It's like you can't turn away, Zach. Yeah, none of them are like, stop the fighting, but they cannot Shock turn TV. away. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> well, he's back, back in action. Oh, the ices. Back in action, baby. When the sequel is better than the original. <gasps> When's that happen besides Shrek 2? What the fuck? Uh, what? What the fuck? I didn't say anything. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you just say? What? <laughs> When's the sequel better than the original? Can you think of one? Shrek 2. <laughs> Shrek 2. Shrek 2, that's Gigi, dude. What happens at the end of Shrek 2? Is Shrek 2 where Donkey fucks the dragon? I mean, they don't show it in the movie. Yeah, that's real. Anyway. Jeremy popping off in Amateur. Amateur bracket, the Hawaii of Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that's fucking funny. <laughs> the Hawaii of Arizona. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So this stage, very bad for ice climbers in melee. In this, in this game though, because of all the blizzard he seeing, so the way you can like drag Nana, if you kind of sit under the platform, this blizzard, it's really fucking hard to get in. Like, see, he's just sitting under that platform. Yeah. It's like, oh my god, how the fuck am I getting in? You got the head covered, you got the front door covered. Like, the only way you get is the, bed, the back door, but you got oh. a dog back there. Right. Got battle. Vex Gaming, baby. It's looking so good. Yeah, like, honestly, sitting underneath the platform with the blizzard, it's gonna be hard. Maybe you can, like,. I know, I know, for you got some shield drops. Maybe you could just land on the platform. Shy drop or whatever. Fancy shit. I don't know why he wastes aura. Like, that setup. Oh, I guess it kind of works. I guess that. Maybe. Is that value? Zach? What? If you saw that at Walmart, would you take it off the shelf? That aura. Ooh, spin? that's great value. That's a. Great value, Smith. Big. Good value. Good value. I wouldn't. You wouldn't? More economical ways to spend the aura. My man supporting local, baby. Supporting local Walmarts? Yeah, I know it. Local Walmart is visiting your parents and like jacking their shit with the cabinet. Let's be real. What the fuck? It's like, hey mom, I'm home. You got any food? Thanks, fam. Now this is definitely not worth it for fruit. I I I feel the idea. Just get on the platform. Yeah. There you go, stop. Yeah, okay. there you go. Now now it's over, because you're 
behind and Kins is gonna camp. He's gonna wait. He's gonna wait. My man looking out like he's at the doctor's office. Propped Kittens. open the magazine. Read the cause. All right, all right. I'll be real. Kittens out of shield. Looking kind of sus. Yeah. I'm seeing a lot of rolls. Yeah, he's been looking. A lot less right than the controller. Kind of yeah, he had, his controller, like, apparently is The broke rubber. Today. No, the rubber. You know, like, the rubber on top of your C stick? This bit. Yeah. It came off today. Oh, that's bad. It was working last night. Uh, that's rough. That yeah. sucks, too, because we got a big tournament coming up. I mean, if it's just the rubber, though, we can replace the stick. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just replace the whole fucking stick. Last call. Yo, these oh. shirts were sick. I actually bought a run back shirt. It's fucking sick. Is that just like a... Is that the actual shirt? No, that's the hoodie. I, no, 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 but like... Is that a real human being? Or is that like... No, no, no. Default with the run back logo That's put definitely on just it. the default, dude. There's no way this man put on a run back shirt. When you got people like timing in the community. Well, in the model shirts. Mm -hmm. I was talking about this the other day, I was like, man, Arrow, really fucking good looking guy. Really fucking good looking. Almost sure. almost unfair. Timing also really good looking. Sure. It's crazy. Where are you going with this? I'm just saying they're really fucking good looking, man. Just drop a compliment and leave it at that. that Zoolander yeah. shit. But yeah, Arrow, some kind of good looking fellow. You know, uh, Big Bow, did you see Arrow's post? What was it? Arrow, Big Bow's gonna be his last tourney. Really? Why? Other stuff? Yeah. This other stuff or what? And also, that was fucking nuts. Fun That's out. definitely a super swag thing to do. Oh, ooh, what's up? So, uh, the handoff at the ledge, guaranteed. The one. So, the reason why it's good is because some characters can recover after the spike at low percents. No, yeah, like, yeah. Mario's one of them on the stage because he can right, do the right. wall ride. It's also good because if you get them on a platform, you can you build can up percent. It. Yeah. So, two situations. Where and, it's good. and it's good in local like this to practice that sort of thing. Yeah, it's worth it's worth it to like potentially like not get the stock and just practice at your local. Oh, gets the gets the spot dodge there. Looks proper. Looking proper. Or actually, kid. Nice. Yes. Yeah, so not bad, not bad. He's kind of going for reads on Sopo. I think you should almost never go on reads on Sopo. Never ever? Almost never, because, like, if you just play solid, you can just beat them. That's how I feel. And if you go for a read that, like, puts you in a bad situation, you're opening yourself up to the possibility that they fucking sneak in a wave, dash down, smash or something. Yeah. So, like, I think it's okay to go for reads if, like, you don't compromise your situation or your position too much. But like going off stage off a of read gets so bulky. It sounds like it just sounds like you're opening up the possibility to get healed. That's bad in this game. That is bad. It's it not is, what it you is bad. Do. It is very bad. Builds up some ore off Nana. Yeah, it looks like down and away is the way, because like he did down and up or up and away that time and he did land on the floor. Yeah, if you land on the floor then you can like buffer a spot dodger or roll and make him get it like a read on you. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh my god, I can't believe he went for it. That was so low percent. That was god off. That would have done nothing. Skitty, if it skitty. Did. That's spaghetti with some ketchup sauce right there. Yo! What the fuck? What the hell was that? I was Julia's goddamn adger. How do you do that shit? What the fuck? Finish up amateur bracket, fools. People over here looking like... I'm kidding. It was Julius grabbed him out of side B and then, like, killed him. Amateur bracket has been delayed again. Cause the kids are popping off. Yo, Vex Gaming, baby. Drop, name drop, name drop.
I can't do it anymore. Fuck. Fuck. Just... Oh, there we go. It's my left hand. Okay. Shield. You guys, I saw the rivals eighth or top fifty, and I was like, "How the fuck did they get enough entrance to make a top 50? Like, what the fuck? I don't want to be mean. People probably said that about our game. Yeah, how the fuck did we make a top fifty? I agree. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just like I don't follow the scene at all. So, and then I looked at the infographic, and it looked like they did off three tournaments. It just seemed a bit early. For me. Should be it. Yeah, their team definitely should um, take their time. That was actually nuts. That was nuts, yeah. The Ice Climber. Wait, did we get him win on PS2? I... No, they start on Smashville. They start on Smashville twice. Then... Smashville twice, Battlefield once, FOD. Fourth game. You're right, you're right. You're right. And FD at some point. No, no, no. no FD, FD was last game, that was last set. That was last set. Yeah. yeah, so no FD this set yeah. yet. No FD this set, it's game 5, my guy. Yeah, no FD. Exactly, so no FD. That's what I'm saying. That's why there's no FD, because it's game 5. There's no way. Oh. So, what? Against Ice Climbers, when they're off stage like that, they're gonna up B. If. You time your jump so that you grab it between when, the two. Between the two. Then Nana like kind of gets on stage, but then Sopo just stops moving where he is. Yeah. And then he has to side beam mesh. Yep. So it's really fucking good if you manage to. And then even if you, even if you slightly mess up, so it's like a little late, then Sopo just kind of pops up and lands on stage. It's like either way, you should try to like snap it between the two. Yeah, it's it's so good. It's, it's good. really fucking good. Like, you can, this is a free punish. Like, no one else does it. But, like, you just gotta, you just gotta do it. No, that should be, yeah, that should be it. Oh, messes up the handoff. And he's just trying to, like, swag out a little, because I think a F smash would set him up in a good enough position where you would just kind of stop. <laughs> Trying to give him the curb. Let's put him in the curb. Down smash on platform. Catch the people. That's good. Catch the people. Like, the thing is, conventional game knowledge, when you're a platform, you're in a pretty pissed position, yeah. right? But because of shield dropping and like other stuff, yeah. you're actually sometimes in a good position. Especially if people don't respect that. Yeah. Well, the moment you stop respecting that, like, if you don't respect your shield drop and they have that, you gonna get you gonna get countered it every time. Man, they both want it pretty bad. You gotta mash, dude. You gotta mash like against against ice climbers. Like if Nana's getting hit and you get grabbed, he's gonna side beams. Fine. So. Against, like, if you get grabbed as Ice Climbs, you should always be mashing. Like, they're gonna be waiting for Nana or, like, doing something. But, like, you never wanna give that time. I don't wanna give the time of day, man. He's getting a little graze on the head. He gets punished hella hard for this bet. He's gonna. Woo! Once again, more damage. Alright, alright, there we go. Yeah. yeah, but now Sopo's a super floaty character. Yeah. Behind Lucario is really going to struggle to get stuff on. Yeah, right, see, right there, what I'm saying is he went for like the down throw, up throw mix up. It's a Sopo, like you just back throw him and then just edge guard him. Like the character's not good. See? Unless you're going to edge guard like that. See, look, now it's an easy edge guard. I lied. Okay, okay. I lied. It was not That's easy. Not easy. It was not easy. So the thing about characters like this is like that side B is really easy for some characters. Some characters have moves that are big enough where they can just approach horizontally and that's it. Ooh. 
Kept it competitive. Kept it competitive. Huh. Do I? All right, y'all. So Julius listening to coaching. Coaching. Basically cheating. Actually banned from the next week for listening to coaching. Yep. Ken's ass looking hella fire in the webcam. For real, though. Wait. Wait, what wait. What the fuck? My dude trying no, to cheat at a local for, and then he gets fucking mad? What the fuck? What the fuck? Get out of the venue. Try and listen to coaching? Who is coaching you? I'll ban that wait, fool, Eric, too. Eric, Who's Santa? coaching? Can you look at out the window for a second? Who's coaching? I'll ban him, too. Who's coaching? Zach, can you pull up the calculator? Yeah, what do you got? Uh, I think we had 15 entrants, right? Can you check? I need to drop venue off before they close. Uh, how much is the venue? So, let me just see entrance, and then the rest is venue. Right. 15? So 15, 45, 45 times 0. 0.6. 27. Okay, and then 0. 0.3, so half of that. So we got $27. First, oh my god, I have two 20s. Fuck! Fuck! Alright, Zach, here's first place. Second place is fourteen dollars. Now we got a refund. Wait, who got second in doubles? Was it was it the kids? Did you guys beat Ray J and Julius, or did they win? Okay. Fucking. Shit my ass. Shit my ass, Zach. Hand this to Eric and say doubles money. Eric doubles money. Julius, this is doubles money. Ray J. Give that to Ray J. Fuck. Ray J, Julius owes you a dollar. Ray J, he stole your doubles money. Graduated, Julius. Least you could do is give him a dollar. Least you could do is give him a dollar. Least you could do is give him a fucking dollar, dude. You could at least give him a dollar. How the, how the fuck are you? How the fuck am I not sponsored by World Star? What the fuck is this payout? What am I counting? I'm counting the wrong shit. Okay. Sure. Oh my god, I need to count money. Fuck. Hey y'all, what up?